we're on a road trip. <laughs> yeah, it's time to get out of the house and show you some other things about the holidays and how we celebrate them. Uh, we're going to seize candy. In my town, we have a pop-up store of that. Seize candy is just one of the holiday favorites for uh, my family and Diane's family and so many in California, West Coast. This isn't a national chain. Um, but they're very much known here and they have incredible candies. Now, sadly, they have a rule against filming in the store, so I wasn't able to, but I did buy a few items. I'm going to take them home and talk about that. And, uh, I've got a little bit of a clip that I'm going to show you of the outside of the store. My shopping center here is under some renovation. It's a bit aged and they're doing some development, but, and this is a pop-up store. Their real full store of C's candy is so wonderful. They've got this great counter of individual chocolates that you could buy and, and fill a, a pound box of your own or just get one or two pieces, whatever your portion. But there's also a lot of mixed boxes that they already have prepared. They're known for, in my family, I should say, we would always get the nuts and chew box. Um, and I th actually, Diane, the same. Her family loved the nuts and chews. But we would also get a number of other different items during the holidays and uh, incredible candies. Now, the cool thing about C's Candy, uh, a little historical fact here, uh, they are based, they had a factory based up here in the San Francisco area, but they also have one down in the Los Angeles area. And the old episode of I Love Lucy, where Lucy Lucy and Ethel are in the chocolate shop and they're trying to keep up with the with the, the conveyor belt and they're shoving chocolate in their mouth and down their top uh, to keep up so that the, their supervisor doesn't, um, you know, scold them. That is based on a C's candy factory and uh, was the inspiration for that. So just a little historical side note. Okay, I just got back from C's Candy. I'm back here at the house. Want to open up some boxes for you and show you what I got. So when you get the C's Candy in the holidays, it comes wrapped in a Christmas wrap. Every year is a little bit different, but it's this standard wrap. And then on the end of the box, it shows what variety is in um, the packaging. And this is, again, Nuts and Chew, which is primarily candies made with nuts. And... Chewies, caramels, and so forth, and um, lots of almond clusters, peanut clusters, pecan clusters, and then different caramels with some nuts, and then sometimes just various versions of caramels on uh, wrapped in chocolate. And we'll show you that inside. One of my favorite candies as a kid, we used to go to my grandparents' house, as I said, and in the main living room where we would all gather, there would just be a table in the center of the room that had, you know, snacks and appetizers and boxes of C's candy would be open. Uh, and then, of course, you know, different cheeses and, you know, olives. And of course, as a kid, we loved to put all the olives on our fingers and run around and, you know, all the different fun things, little mini pickles, all that stuff. But one of my favorite candies was this box of Victoria toffee. And, uh, and it just is one large block of toffee covered in chocolate and wrapped in nuts in chopped almonds. And um, let me open this up. Let me show you this. It's just one large block. They threw in an extra, I guess, to make sure the weight matched. But it's this one large block of toffee. And when I was a kid, they used to sell this with a little silver hammer so that you could break it. And as a small boy, to have a tool to eat your candy with was just one of the greatest joys. Sadly, they no longer sell it. When I even asked the, the store manager if it, it was included anymore, and she goes, they used to do that? How fun that would be. And it was fun. And... Uh, but it is still incredible candy, and so I, I love that, to put that out during the holidays. This design theme for C's is this uh, black, white, and gold. Uh, the stores are a lot of white tile with the counters, and, and this design is sort of an old 1920s feel to it. It was founded by Mary C. and, uh, and her family, and so it was just incredible. And so when you... Um, 
and you open the box it's covered here look at that just beautiful assortment of candies and uh, they have different varieties without the nuts if you prefer you know more of the truffle insides they have those the assorted chocolates you know with less of the heaviness on the nuts but both Diane's family and my family, as I've said, just really prefer the nuts and chew variety. Now, I was really excited today because, you know, as an ornament guy, they had an ornament. And this is their 100th year anniversary uh, as a company. And so they produced this beautiful ornament of an exterior frontage of their store. And when you find them in the malls, they do put this um, frontage, even in the malls, um, of this old town candy shop with the window like that looking in and and so i'm excited to put this uh, on my tree this year let's play where's my dog where's my doggy where's that doggy that's a good girl Go get the toy. Get the toy. Bring it here. Bring the toy. Good girl. Go get it. You're such a good dog. What's well, today's puzzle? Let's see. Office, you want to make the puzzle with this? You want to help make the puzzle? What's that? You want to help make it? I bet you do. Yeah. Such a good dog. Part of the togetherness theme, Mickey and Minnie um, ice skating on a pond next to their lodge. Nice to meet you. What a great sentiment. All right, another Bible reading for today, day three in the story of the 25 days of the Christmas story. We are looking at a person in Jesus' life named Zechariah. Zechariah was a priest in the temple. And uh, he and his wife were older and had been without child. And he had been praying for years that God would give him a child. And sure enough, as our verse says in Luke chapter 1, verse 13, it says, But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah, because your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you will name him John. Of course, John grew up to be John the Baptist, and part of the story of um, of preparing the way for Jesus as he grew up and began his public ministry. Um, what a lot of people don't realize is that John the Baptist is Jesus' cousin, and so he likely grew up with Jesus at different times, different experiences together. So an incredible story in the life and the journey of Jesus. Okay, everybody, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed our road trip. And maybe that sparks some memories that you have of special treats, candies, uh, things that you would look forward to during the holidays like that, um, that you would put out and, and really enjoy getting. Go ahead and leave that in the comments below. I'd love to hear about some of your special memories as well. And if you had the privilege and joy of experiencing C's candy uh, directly and and you liked it, I would assume everybody loves it. Maybe not. But if you love it, what's your favorite particular one or your blended box that you get? Or if you remember that hammer. Uh, so go ahead and let me know. Hey, if you've made it this far and you're following along in our Vlogmas and you're not yet a subscriber, would you please do so? 
I would love to have you join our channel and uh, and be notified by clicking that bell as well and that thumbs up uh, to like this. Uh, that would be great. So please go ahead and do so, and I'll see you tomorrow on Vlogmas Day 4.